Hello, music lovers. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we are diving into the world of soulful melodies and passionate lyrics as we delve into the life and times of the legendary Marvin Gaye. Marvin Gaye was a man with a voice that resonated through generations. Born in 1939 in Washington, D.C., his upbringing was far from easy. He experienced domestic turmoil and a traumatic assault as a teenager, which would later influence his music. His musical journey began during his high school years, when he discovered his talent for singing and performing. He started out as a drummer in a jazz band, but soon recognized his true calling was in R.B. and soul music. His early recordings showcased his raw talent and the potential he had to become one of the most influential musicians of our time. In 1962, Gay signed with Motown Records, which marked the beginning of his meteoric rise to fame. His first single Let's Be Together showed the world what he was capable of heartfelt melodies that captured the essence of love and heartbreak. Over time, he would go on to release some of the most iconic songs ever recorded, like I Heard It Through the Grapevine, Let's Get It On, and Sexual Healing, these songs are still loved by millions today. Throughout his career, Marvin Gaye faced personal struggles with substance abuse and mental health issues, including bipolar disorder, but even through these challenges, he continued to create music that resonated with people around the world. His musical legacy endures to this day, serving as a testament to his raw talent and unique voice that will be remembered for generations to come. So there you have it, folks a glimpse into the life and career of Marvin Gaye. Thank you for joining us on this musical journey through time. If you enjoyed this video and want more like it, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more great content. Until next time, keep grooving. Singer Marvin Gaye's father is in jail in Los Angeles this morning, held without bail and facing murder charges in the death of his... After a particularly slow period, legendary soul man Marvin Gaye was on track for a huge comeback in early 1982. Ooh, he was dropping sexual healing and, yo, like, he was being hip. He was Marvin for life. Despite his resurgence, Marvin was depressed, paranoid, and addicted to cocaine. In late 83, he moved into his parents' house, and old tensions with his minister father, Marvin Sr., resurfaced. I remember hearing that his father was very jealous of, one, his career, and the relationship that he had with his mom. So there's a lot of animosity, a lot of hurt there. Then on April 1st, 1984, Marvin got in the middle of a spat between his mother and father argument turned physical. The mother interceded and separated them. Moments later, the father reappeared. He had a handgun with him, and he fired two shots, fatally wounding uh, Marvin Gaye. It was April Fool's Day, so people didn't want to believe it. It was such an insane idea that Marvin Gaye's dead. Marvin Gaye's been shot by his father. There's no way. Fans this afternoon who passed the family home where it happened played his music and prayed for the soul from which it came. Marvin Sr. was charged with manslaughter instead of murder when doctors found he had a brain tumor. Sentenced to probation, he spent his remaining years in a retirement home. Every time I see a Marvin Gaye, a Tupac, a Big E, you go, man, I wish he had lived long enough to see the mark he left in the game. Let's go. 